All right, you guys. Okay, so we're inviting you to get lost in film during the opening day of the 31st Heartland International Film Festival with Randall. You know, just more than a 115 films. There's no nothing crazy. Deal. Nothing right. crazy. It's your chance to see many of them first, plus yes. have a Q&A with the filmmakers here to tell us more. It's artistic director, Ooh. our guy, Greg Sorbic. Good hey. to see you, Welcome, man. Glad, uh, glad to be back. It's always a fun Absolutely. time to be here. Absolutely. Well, our, our own personal movie encyclopedia. I, I feel like <laughs> it right. is. We, we're just going to pick your brain. You tell us yeah. what we can expect. I mean, 31st, yeah. this is so cool. Yeah, it's it's my 11th festival. Been here for wow. a while. I love it. Um, great movies from local films made in Indiana all mm -hmm. the way up to the huge Oscar contenders. Yeah, extreme premieres, talent. A lot of great stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And, and kind of talk about that a little bit more because highlighting the, the local films right there with the the star-studded cast and the Oscar-worthy films. Yeah, like how cool is that to put those people in the same place getting highlighted together. It's great. I think we just had a tax incentive approved now, so that will put us even higher um, yeah. with, with stuff for filmmakers. There are people making movies here, obviously, too. There is an industry. It continues to grow, um, and we've given you know big cash prizes to these local filmmakers. So it, I say Heartland's been the incentive <laughs> for a while, yeah. yeah, and now it keeps growing. But it, it's great to have hometown screening, especially on a big screen. Well, yes, and, and big too. night. Let's talk opening night, my friend. Opening too. night tonight yes. too. Yeah. So this is the first time we're working with Apple Original Films. Okay. We have Louis Armstrong's <clears throat> Black and Blues. Oh. Serendipitous. I was actually sending out the emails to the lineup listening to Louis Armstrong before we even booked this Oh, film. nice. So um, he recorded his <coughs> first uh, track here in Indiana at Star Jeanette Studios in 1923. Mm -hmm. I think how many songs he's recorded. But this is a documentary directed by uh, Sasha Jenkins, who's done stuff about Wu-Tang Clan and Nas. Love it. Produced by uh, Imagine Entertainment, Ron Howard, Brian yeah. Grazer. Mm -hmm. But it's the, it's the man behind the music. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's an American icon, but a lot of people don't know about Louis himself. Great film, kicking off tonight at Newfields. Oh, man. I'm, I'm excited about that. Okay, world premiere Friday and Saturday, The Grotto. Talk the about Grotto, the grotto. Yes. So, um, yeah, so we have um, Joanna Gleason, mm -hmm. who was a Tony Award winner for Into the Woods. This is her first oh, yeah. directorial debut in the movies. Betsy Brandt here on the left. Mm -hmm. You might have recognized her from Breaking Bad. Yeah. Um, her fiancé in the film passes away, and she inherits this place called The Grotto. It's like a nightclub in the desert. Okay kind of uh, begrudgingly and goes from there. It's the world premiere. Um, Joanna's going to be here as well with some of the cast and crew. You can see it here first um, on Friday night. What awesome. about Oxford? Surprised by Oxford. This is a world premiere based on a memoir about a young woman who wants to go to Strong college, girl. an American student, you will know and she you wants to get a PhD. Um, in Oxford. Oxford. So it kind of goes from there. And uh, Phyllis She's Logan from uh, Downton Oxford. Abbey is actually uh, co-stars in the film too so they have some big names we were very fortunate we love these films we invite them and then just it's a bonus if they're a premiere and we can really celebrate them um, and lift them up here at Heartland and then when my sleeping yeah. dragon woke. woke yes it sounds very very uh, mysterious but sharing Washington she's a Tony Award a nominee as well too she's an actress you might have seen her in Joker mm -hmm. um, this is a very personal film that goes into some trauma with her family it's uh, intercut with a lot of beautiful animation as well very personal film um, and the director of the film Chuck Schultz actually won an award with us back in our second festival back in 93 so it's a homecoming a premiere Coleman Domingo Emmy winner uh, but just signed on being executive producer of the film too uh, with Euphoria um, so it's gonna going to be a great celebration and a homecoming for Chuck. How do people celebrate with you guys and get those yeah, tickets? Hey, go to HeartlandFilmFestival.org. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, you can buy one ticket. You don't have to go to everything. You can buy yeah. a 10-pack of tickets, save a little bit of money. Love it. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of great venues. It's the first year we're going to Landmarks uh, Glendale 12. Okay. We're also going to Historic Art Craft Theater down in Franklin. We're going to be at Newfields. Oh, we're going to be so at the cool. Bottle Works at Living Room Theaters yeah. and the Can Can Cinema and Brasserie. We're going to do movies from the Can Film Festival there. So Can at the Can Can. Yeah, um, I love nice. that. A little bit of fun, but we have a lot of great movies. It's like a little great, video, video great, pop. great venues, <laughs> great movies. I'm just saying. I mean, what, what else do you need? Hit the what QR code, guys. There's a lot to do, yeah. And if you go online, you can see uh, what movies have filmmakers coming in. So you can yeah. meet them, buy them a drink, hang oh, out. I like that. So, a little Q&A. So, a lot of good stuff. So, good yeah. stuff, we'll man. see you there. Thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate you and your, your knowledge of yeah. encyclopedia. Everlasting yeah. knowledge. Our IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually locked away exactly. watching movies, so now I get to finally share them with people. It's Yay, a lot of them. that's what we yeah. love.